Big Match John is back where he belongs. Even stronger is the perfect tagline for WWE 2K23. Last year's reinvention laid a solid foundation, and every aspect of it has been refined for the better this year. Combat is flexible without becoming burdensome, and the My Rise campaign mode leans on telling more focused stories without compromising its open-ended gameplay. My GM is bigger and more user-friendly, and even the 2K Showcase, which has maybe the most glaring inconsistencies of all the modes, subverts expectations in creative ways. The pickings are slim for full sim-style pro grappling alternatives, but WWE's flagship game has never been more deserving of its spot at the head of the wrestling game table. Cena picks Orton out of the air. As far as how it looks and sounds, 2K23 has to be the best this series has had in years. Though some characters have outdated looks and music, almost everyone at least looks good. Coverboy John Cena and the son of a son of a plumber, Cody Rhodes, are standouts on the high end, which ironically makes some of the low end models feel like that much more of a missed opportunity. New lighting effects and reflections give an overall boost that makes stages shine and title belts sparkle. Menus are clean and colourful, which is a step up from last year's bland layouts, and all without sacrificing legibility. Visually, 2K23 is a grand slam. Combat in the squared circle of 2K23 is much like it was in 2K22. Last year's big overhaul was widely considered a huge success, and the simplified grappling layouts and a combo-based striking system add some depth to the hundreds of wrestlers available this year. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Stamina is a way bigger deal as matches go on. Without it, it's tougher to run faster than a crawl, and you become way easier to counter and beat down. Spamming offense relentlessly risks tiring you out early, and the only way to regain your energy is to hang back and idle for a few seconds. Knowing when to slow your roll and when to hit the gas can give matches between evenly skilled opponents a fun rhythm. The payback system has expanded, letting characters equip up to two big game-changing special abilities. The added flexibility means that even though there's still only one use per match, you have a secondary scenario in which you can turn the tables. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Using your resiliency to instantly win a pin or submission minigame doesn't have to be the only trick up your sleeve anymore. Oh no! The poison mist! Are you kidding me? Spending a portion of your special bar, gained either by dealing or receiving damage, can help you instantly recover from attacks or play possum for a surprise roll-up. The risk-reward relationship of the special bar makes you think as well. These defenses can be used to great effect to stop taking damage during vital moments, but with a full bar you can unleash a signature move, which could do more to turn the tide in your favour. This is the kind of resource management usually only seen in traditional fighting games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, but it fits 2K23 like a perfect pair of boots. This year's 2K Showcase focuses on John Cena's biggest losses. Cena spent so much of his 20-plus year career winning that it's refreshing to see him run down the monumental L's he's taken from greats like Kurt Angle and Triple H. I enjoyed the winding trip down memory lane, though there were a few notable bumps in the road. There are some glaring omissions like JBL and The Miz, and Cena's reflections on these matches are oddly sterile and surface level, considering he is known for being philosophical when it comes to pro wrestling. His monologues between matches offer no real insight, beyond largely juvenile I went in there and tried my best mantras, which is a bit of a shame. A chance to prove I belong in the WWE Universe. And I failed. Showcase is structured similarly to past ones, but this time you get to play the gauntlet of matches as his opponents. This great twist keeps the action fresh from match to match, but it will mean you'll need to relearn character movesets every time, which could be a little jarring. Thankfully, the objectives you're given do a good job of laying out exactly what's being asked of you, down to the exact button combinations needed to execute a particular maneuver. At the same time, the interlacing of old WWE footage into gameplay doesn't feel as clever as it used to. Sometimes you'll need to hit a specific move, and the match will play out a whole sequence of moves that probably would have been more fun to do yourself than they are to watch. On more than one occasion, a simple attempt to attack or grapple started a clip that led directly into the end of a match, with no further input required. 
The overall package remains an earnest but rough attempt to do the impossible. It would seem that you can't truly recreate specific wrestling moments and capture the drama and magic in a playable way. The other major single-player mode, My Rise, is split into two separate stories. Of the two, I preferred The Lock, which has you jump into the boots of a global sensation whose talents have finally elevated him to the WWE. It's an enjoyable tale about the conflict between attempting to be yourself versus trying to be what the machine of the WWE wants you to be. We want The Lock to headline a live event for the first time. The Legacy, a story about debuting in the shadow of your Hall of Fame aunt, is also a solid tale about living up to expectations and the various ways that old rivalries and bad decisions in and out of your control can make that challenging. It was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid. Both stories give the mode some real focus. Where last year's My Rise often felt like I was just running around doing quests simply because they were there, this year the main thread wrangles you into very clear-cut chapters. Your main and side objectives are laid out clearly in the story progress menu, and all of the appropriate people to talk to in order to initiate these quests are all in one area. The story is also separated by acts, and the progress menu will show you all the distractions you could get into before moving on to the next one. The open-endedness of last year's My Rise still exists though. Between matches during the main storyline, you can interact with accessory characters and make choices that can determine how story arcs end or what kind of side quests you end up on. I wish that the back and forth you have to do to start many of the side feuds were more than just text blocks on a fake social media platform, but the parts that are voice acted feel more consistent across the board than last year. Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pint. Nice blokes. I'm not sure any of this will make you a My Rise fan if you weren't already, but a strong story mode is a wrestling game staple, and I'm glad it finally feels worth the time again. Oh, look at the knee strikes! Just unloading knees to the body! For folks looking for more of a sandbox approach to superstardom, Universe is back and, with the exception of some slight tweaks in the story building tools, it's practically identical to 2K22's version. For classic mode fans, this means you can have a field day tweaking every single detail of your own version of the WWE, from the shows you produce, the stars and feuds between them, and even the belts they can win and defend. I preferred superstar mode during the relative time I spent with Universe, so I could put my created grappler through an endless career of rivalries and title shots. GM mode is my preferred management sim mode, and this year's version is even bigger and more robust than ever. Besides some quality of life changes and giving us more brands, managers and power cards to choose from, now up to four players can try to outpromote each other across multiple season games. New surprises like the shake-up, big game-altering passive abilities that you can select after big shows, help spice up the gameplay regularly. But figuring out how to make popular, highly rated matches over long periods of time is still a steep learning curve. Whether you want to experience a TV-inspired story of young wrestling talent rising to glory, take a guided tour of the most humbling moments in the career of one of the greatest to ever do it, or some other nerdy diversion, WWE 2K23 is worth pinning down. It's at least incrementally better in almost every way from last year's entry, in that combat feels more rewarding, flexible and consequential. Where it overachieves, like in my GM, it starts to finally restore the feeling that we could be on the ramp watching a new golden age of pro wrestling games make its glorious entrance. For more, check out our reviews of Resident Evil 4 and Pizza Tower, and for everything else, stick with IGN. Never give up. Dust yourself off and come back when you're ready. I'll be right here waiting.